Alright guys, so version 3.3 .3 has just come out on the Chinese server. Some of you might be unaware, but I'm sure most people know what we're getting in version 3.3. .3. But since a few days back, you know, when I was doing the Solo 2 Phantasm supply, a lot of people have been asking about the Hirsch of the Void summer outfit. So as of now, three outfits have been confirmed. One is Zili's Solo 2 Phantasm. The other will be Rita's Phantom Iron, which we will be getting as you can see, from a 7-day login, so it's like the easiest costume to be getting. And then, of course, the Hershey of the Void summer outfit has also been confirmed. And it was never an issue, really. I mean, I know about that incident where someone reported it to China's censorship committee. And, you know, when stuff like that happens, I'm not too worried about it, because what could happen, right? They could just slap on some hot pants on her or something like that and make it... But it still looks okay. As you can see, this is the official update. This costume has remained unchanged. They will just be changing her victory poses uh, camera angle just slightly. It doesn't even look too different from the usual one. So no issues about it. And it was never a big deal in the first place. Uh, of course, you know, when people work on designs like that, they are not going to give up easily. Even if someone reports it, if they have to make modifications to meet certain requirements, I'm very sure they will. But in this case, they never needed to. And until releases are confirmed, there's no need to worry about anything. And so anyway, since the video is going to be so short, we are going to do the Hershey of Reasons um, trial stages. And so as everyone would know, she will of course have her signature weapon and her signature stigmata will be Welt Young or Walter Young, whichever translation you use, who had the Hersher core of the first Hersher, which is the Hersher of Reason, before Branya obtained it in the Sea of Quanta. So the motorbike form uh, should be usable in open world scenarios, and for gameplay, she is actually a melee attacker, but when you have those bars uh, that you can see above the HP bar, when they're charged up, you can use them to do a normal, like a normal Branya battle suit projectile charge, which is incredibly powerful because she has no charge time. And as you saw during that time fracture, she could like stack missiles like how Valkyrie Chariot does, which is incredibly powerful. And that's what you would expect out of a Hersher. <laughs> So if you're looking for the stats like, you know, her passive skills and her stigmata and weapon information, they should be all over the internet. Um, yeah, so if you're in like any Discord community or anything like that, you would definitely have already seen it. If you haven't, well, you can be just like me. I mean, I've read it already, but, you know, I like to touch on the content when it actually reaches us, because then I have the ability to pull for it and actually use the Valkyrie and equipment in various stages, not just in the trial stages where they are made to look good. But of course, the Hershey of Reason is by no means exaggerated in her trial stages. She is, she looks this strong because she actually is this strong. Alright, so that was the first trial stage. The second trial stage is where we can only use the ulti, and the first trial stage is where we can use everything else and not the ulti. So the ulti is a really wide-reaching ulti, as you would expect uh, from a Hersher. And then it turns her into the motorbike form, and basically, as you can see, all the other buttons are locked. So it's just automatically attacking. <laughs> and I don't know what to think of it. Do I like it? I do. Um, but yeah, you can actually use an attack. So it seems like if you hit the weapon skill or evasion button, she gets off the bike. But if you use the attack button, she'll use one of her bars and use the motorbike to ram opponents. Which is great, and it does a lot of damage. But like I said, you know, this is the trial stage. We can't really tell until we bring it out into like the real world to test stuff. But, you know, she is a Hersher. I would expect nothing less. <laughs> Right on. Right on. 
已经找到了自己的道路。So there's nothing new in the third trial stage, it's just to let you get a feel of the character. Um, okay, so there's that. There's this new opponent that uses a rifle. That would be pretty cool. Um, but it doesn't look like a really strong opponent, so I'm not too sure what to expect out of it. But yeah, basically that's it for the third trial stage. And I don't think you want to be looking at that because we'll get it anyway uh, in a month's time. And so I'll be moving on to one more extra trial stage. Yes, Captain. Bronya, Dida Jenchang. So this stage is pretty much a race course, and we have a boosting skill right up there. And we can also attack on the way. There are these boxes that provide a charge on the boost each. And to get all the achievements, we have to complete the course in 60 seconds. So, whoops. Okay, so she handles really well. I mean the bike. It's really smooth. Uh, it is, of course, a lot faster than we have ever been in the open world. Of course, that's also thanks to the boost. But it'll be interesting to see Branya equipped with movement speed equipment and really just racing through the open world. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, over here, I am looking forward to it as well. Of course, the expansion has not opened on the day of release. It will open tomorrow, I think. And so, um, of course, over here, I don't buy crystals like I do in the Southeast Asian server, but I do have, like, I think 5,000 crystals. Whoa. Cutting it close here. We should be reaching, right? Okay, we are. Alright, cool. Yeah, so that was pretty much it for the racing stage. That was pretty fun. And I'm gonna have to do it again when we get it in the Southeast Asian server. So I have, like, 5,000 crystals right now. Uh, after claiming this, maybe I'll need another five or 600 crystals. And I should be able to get enough before the banner ends. So I'm gonna have 20 tries on the Hersher of Reason. And if I get it, I'll definitely do a video on it. Uh, but it's really unlikely. I did get the Hersher of the Void in the Japanese server in four pools. And I think I got the Vermilion Knight Battlesuit on the same account in the Japanese server. Um, in four pools as well, or three pools or something like that. So yeah, let's see how lucky I am in the Chinese server. So anyway, what I wanted to cover were, you know, the Hershey of the Void, basically this summer outfit. And as you all have seen, it is already in here with the official update for version 3.3. So there is nothing to be worried about at all. It was never a big issue. And, you know, even if they had to make changes, I think the changes wouldn't have been too big a deal anyway. Of course, people would have been unhappy about that because they've already seen the original product. Oh, cool! Oh, okay. So yeah, I mean, the development team, they work so hard to get all these stuff done. They would, of course, want to release it and try to release it the way it was. And as a result, that's what you guys can see. So until an official announcement is made, I would never be too worried about stuff. You know, especially when stuff are still in the beta. That's when they're sorting everything out and everyone's just being worried for nothing. So... Yeah, just sit back, relax, and usually Mihoyo doesn't disappoint on stuff on Honkai Impact 3, and I don't see why they would in future as well. So anyway, this has been MG, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys soon.